All right, so I personally really like to just browse and look for new ideas and inspiration when it comes to coding projects to try. And I figured that if I like to do that, then there's probably a decent chance that someone else out there, maybe you, like to do that as well. And so I thought I might make my own video where I try to give you some inspiration for coding projects to try. So uh, here are four super quick Python automation ideas. So number one, automatically moving files. This is one of the most useful things we can do. It's quite simple, but it can be applied to so many different things. And here's how it would work when we run it. If we place a file into the folder called my folder, then it will automatically move that file into the folder called new folder. Maybe this seems like quite a menial task and achievement, but imagine this, imagine that we applied this to our downloads folder and we add some if else statements to check what type of file it is and depending on what file it is it gets moved to the desired folder so for instance let's say that we download an image from google the script would then be able to detect that that's an image and it would put that into the images folder or the photos folder or whatever folder you want to call it and basically we could then create folders for all different file types and make sure that the program then knows where to put each file and this could then essentially keep our downloads folder completely clutter free, but it doesn't have to end there. And our second automation idea takes this even further. This time we're moving folders and we're renaming the files. If we consider our previous example with the downloads folder, imagine that we now know how to move the files into the right folders and we have different folders for different file types. Now we still just end up with tons of different folders with tons of different files and random file names in these folders. So it's a bit of a mess. But with what we just added, we could potentially rename the files by date and then we can create subfolders corresponding to year and month. And then the program can basically rename the files and put them into the right subfolders corresponding to the right date. And so this simple script just became the utopian dream of the OCD organizers out there, myself included. All right, so now for something a bit different. This next one will open YouTube whenever your favorite YouTuber has uploaded a new video. <laughs> Okay, so let's say that you're following me on YouTube and you want to see my latest videos as soon as they get uploaded. 
well then this script will run in the background and it will keep checking my YouTube channel to see whether I've uploaded a new video or not. And if I have, then it'll open a new browser window and it'll move to that video for you. And this can of course be applied to many other things. Like for instance, let's say that you wanna know when a stock has dropped by like 10% or something like that within the last hour, then you could have this open up to the trading website so that you can either sell or buy or whatever you wanna do with it. That's one application for the script. I really like this one. It's actually very useful. All right, last one. This is something that I feel like is kind of what programming is about, or at least is about at the start. It's about like simplifying very simple tasks, but that take you a long time to do or like unnecessarily long to do. And that is to calculate compounding interest. And this is just one example of something like this that you can do. And this is just something that I added because I personally feel like this is pretty cool, but it's also quite unimpressive. And I would guess that you probably have certain tasks like this that resemble kind of calculations or very simple tasks, but repetitive tasks that you could probably make a little script for. And at the very least, this program really makes me happy when I use it. All right, so those are my super quick Python automation ideas that I thought was really interesting and that I believe that you can also expand on and make even better. And if you do take one of these ideas and implement them and make them more interesting or better or just implement them at all, then please leave a comment in the comment section below sharing what you did. I love to read that stuff and I feel like that can also give inspiration for other people when they read what you've done. So don't be shy. Anyway, that's it for this one, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Hashtag Codespiration. The Possimpable. <laughs> the Possimpable? Really? Inventing your own word shows creativity and vision. Vigitivity. <laughs>